How is it going, guys? In last month's new products video, we featured one of these. This is the Beatsonic plug and play power amplifier. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, I am not an audio expert, far from it actually, but even I can tell that the audio system in this car is not the greatest. And it makes sense, it's an economic sports car, so most of the R&D goes into the performance side of things and they compromise on some of the other creature comforts, one of those being the sound system. If you really think about it, that head unit does a lot of things. You've got the touch screen, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you've got the reverse camera set up in there and many other things. So the main purpose is not going to be to produce the highest sound quality. And that's really not a great selling point anyway because not a lot of people have actually heard a real high quality sound system. So they focus more on some of the other tech features, but that's where this comes into play. This was made for one specific reason, and that's to enhance the sound quality. Now, I'm not gonna go into the fine details of how it does it because quite frankly, it's over my head, but I do know that this was designed by dedicated audio engineers and made out of high quality Japanese components. And look at the small footprint. After we install this, we're not even gonna be able to see that it's there, but hopefully we'll be able to hear a difference. Real quick before we get into the install, if you guys are interested in picking one of these up for yourself, you can use my code KevinV20 to get $20 off your order. I'll leave a link down below. We're gonna be working on the passenger side here. We need to remove this panel first. So on the bottom, there's a slot. We can insert a plastic pry tool and then just pry it off with your fingers. We can remove this portion of the dash now. I'm gonna grab it over here and just pull it straight back and it should pop right off. That's gonna expose this Phillips head screw over here that's holding in this section of the dash. So we'll remove the screw. And then I'm gonna start pulling on this to release it. There we go. Over on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this trim piece here that's to the right of your steering wheel column. On the bottom, there's gonna be a Phillips head screw that I've already removed. And then I can take my fingers, put them in this gap here between the steering wheel column and the trim piece, and then start prying it out. And again, it should just pop off there. Get it the rest of the way. And then we'll just leave it hanging right here. We're able to pull these center vents off the dash now. There's a little bit of a gap down here where we can get it started. And there is gonna be a plug that we need to disconnect for the hazards. And we'll set that aside. If we look around the radio, we'll see four 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. There's two up top here, one right there and one back there. And then two on the bottom sides one right here, not that one, just leave that one. And then one right there. Again, the bottom one, not the one in the middle. Okay, so I've got the four bolts removed. I'm gonna take some microfiber towels and just lay them on this area just so I reduce the risk of scratching anything. You can use a t-shirt or towels or anything like that. So there's gonna be two tabs that are holding the radio in place. You kinda just gotta give it a firm pull to get them off. There we go. And then you wanna be careful when you're pulling this out, pay attention to where those metal brackets are so that you aren't scratching anything inside your interior but we'll pull it straight back and then that'll give us access to the connections on the back. I'm gonna try and get you guys a good shot so you can see here. So these two white connectors on the back side, on the bottom passenger side is what we need to deal with. We need to disconnect these so we can install the included harness. Let's see if they'll cooperate. So we gotta depress the tab to release it and then pull with all our might. Oh, while they're in there good. I think it's starting to come out. A little bit of wiggling. There we go, there's one. 
All right, the second one came out easily. So now we can take the included harness and basically daisy chain it into the connection. So let's see here. So one end is gonna go into the head unit and the other is gonna go to the OEM harness that we just unplugged. Same thing with the other connection, one side to the head unit and the other to the OEM harness. We're also gonna take the ground wire here and we're gonna connect it to one of the Phillips head screws on the head unit. So I'm just gonna loosen one of these. And then slide this in there. And then tighten it back up. The next step is gonna be connecting the harness to the amp itself. So we've got two connectors. You can only go in one way. They should snap right into place. Now we're just connecting these right now so that we can test to make sure everything is working properly. Once we've made sure it works, we're actually gonna disconnect this and reroute the wires into this crevice here and that's where the amp is going to live, uh, right above the glove box and underneath the airbag. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the system here to make sure it works. That already sounds a lot better. Okay, all right, so that works. I'm gonna disconnect this and then we'll install it where it's supposed to go. I actually ended up reducing the gain a little bit so both the front and rear are at the 12 o'clock position and I've got some double-sided tape on the back so I'm gonna peel the backing off this. Oh, the mosquitoes are starting to come out. And just like I said, the amp is gonna live in this opening right here. We kind of have to pull back on the plastic to get it in there. But once it's in there, it fits in there perfectly. So just maneuver it in there. Get it underneath that harness for the airbag there we go make sure it's not making contact with get out of here mosquito making contact with any of the other metal components which would look good press down so that double-sided tape adheres now i will route the harness back through here and get it plugged in again We'll tidy those wires up here in a bit. And I'll get you guys a better look at where this is placed so you can get a good idea. You probably can't really see where it's at right now. But I got everything plugged in. It's on there solid, it's not moving. Here's a closer look so you can see exactly where that amp is sitting. There's a metal bracket, I'm not, you probably can't see, but there's a metal bracket back here that I think holds the airbag in place. So it's to the left of that, make sure it's not rubbing on that. And then it's clear of that plug right there. And there's also room underneath the actual airbag so nothing is touching. And then we got it plugged in. So now I just need to tidy up the wires, get the radio reinstalled and put the rest of the interior back. Okay, tabs are locked in. We'll reinstall the four bolts. These mosquitoes are relentless. Get our vent reinstalled. Make sure you don't forget to plug the hazard button back in.
It is really satisfying how everything just snaps into place. Fucking mosquitoes. Oh, I'm gonna get them. Oh, I missed. Disappointing. Reinstall that screw. Perfect. And the last piece. All right, let's listen to this thing. Guys, I swear I can instantly hear the difference. It's it's much more rich and and bassy and just better sounding overall. I feel like I can hear things that I wasn't able to before. And honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect and I didn't think that I'd be able to notice much of a difference, especially me not being an audio person, but I can definitely hear the difference. This is a surprising upgrade for like 250 bucks. I thought that you would need to swap the speakers and the head unit out to get a better sound system, but it turns out it's actually a lot easier than that. This install took not even 30 minutes. Well, there you go, guys. It is that easy. It's a seamless install. It's plug and play. It's hidden away so you don't even know it's there, but you can hear it. I don't know how well the camera was able to pick up the sound. Let me know if you guys were able to hear a difference, but I definitely was, even with the short period of time I was listening to it. And I've talked to other people who have installed it and they were surprised as to how much of a difference it made as well. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, the link is down in the description. You can use my code KevinV20 to save $20 off. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other video suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys are enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.